Hi, it's me again, and for a while I have been saying that broadcast TV is dead. It's the past. It's going away, isn't it? Everybody's going to be streaming everything within a couple of years' time. And what is the BBC going to do about that? Because they love a broadcast TV channel, don't they? They're big in on that. But streaming is the future. It's the way forward. No one wants to sit and wait for, what, Thursday at nine for your favourite TV show to come on. All the kids and everyone nowadays, you just hit the remote... Netflix, whatever, find your favourite show, watch it whenever you want to watch it, on whatever you want to watch it on. It's fridges with bloody Netflix now. And that's crazy. So I found this consumer sort of report thing done by Roku, which, all right, sells streaming stuff. So, you know, take it with a little bit of a pinch of salt. But I think this uh, makes a lot of sense. So let's take a look at this and we'll have a bit of a chat about it as always, shall we? British consumers prefer streaming to pay TV. Roku today revealed the results of its study of UK consumer TV viewing behaviour and preferences. Conducted by National Research Group, a leading global insights and strategy firm on behalf of Roku, findings published in the Streaming Decade Report show that TV streaming has reached a tipping point, with 9 in 10 survey respondents saying they are TV streamers versus only 7 in 10 who use traditional pay TV services such as Sky, BT and Virgin Media. This is reflected across age groups, 77% of 57 to 70 year olds now stream. That's a lot, that's a big number, isn't it? And 31% had added more services in the past year. Yeah, I can go along with that because I'm not in that age bracket, but I have added a lot of streaming services in the past year. Years ago, I used to get everything a bit dodgy and have dodgy streams and stuff like that, but I just, I haven't got the time for it anymore for all the mucking about so a little sort of dabble occasionally obviously but now everything i watch is on a on a paid service and we have quite a few i mean we have netflix we've got amazon prime i wouldn't pay separately for prime video i don't think there's that much on there but i have amazon for work purposes so i get prime chucked in for now so i said why not use it and then we've got disney plus which i think is better than netflix now Disney Plus, they've come a long way. When I first got it, I just thought it was going to be crappy animated Disney films that I can't stand and the missus is loves. But it's not. They've got loads of really good stuff on there now. Stuff that's been disappearing off Netflix is now showing up on Disney Plus because Disney own bloody everything anyway, don't they? And then you've got IMDB TV, which is a free one. We don't have Now TV anymore. I just don't find the use for it. But we have you know, been shopping around and we found a few more and we've tried a few and quit a few. And that, but it is the future. I mean, the missus, when I met her, she used to watch broadcast TV all the time. She'd be like, oh, my show's on, it's nine o'clock. I can't remember the last time she even thought about watching broadcast TV. Not that we can in our house, because we don't have a telly license, obviously. But, you know, she, it doesn't even enter her mindset anymore. Or mine. You know, the future is watching what you want whenever you want to watch it, isn't it? And the BBC, just they're, they're going to get left behind. And good, I'm happy about that whole situation. But they are going to get left out in the cold, aren't they? The findings highlighted in our The Streaming Decade report show that TV in the UK has reached a tipping point and streaming is becoming the norm for all ages, said Miriam Lau, VP International at Roku. With more and more new and interesting content available to consumers, streaming has become the dominant force for consumers. And where consumers go, opportunities follow for brands to engage them with compelling best-in-class advertising that's relevant to their interests. Streaming is clearly the future of TV. And not just advertisers, well, product placement, which the BBC can't do either. When you watch some of the big American TV shows, so much product placement, and in movies as well, so much product placement. And the BBC, I do think, do it on the sly. I made a video about it in the past. I'll put a link down there somewhere if I can remember. But I've got some evidence the BBC has done some product placement, what I think is evidence anyway. So I think they were trying to get some skin in the game on that, even though it was illegal to do at the time. But, you know, the big money is in streaming, and the big money is in advertising, and the BBC not really doing any of that. Are they? Yeah, they've got BritBox, but that's not really for us. That's more for the Yanks. The Yanks and the Australians love a bit of BritBox. It's not too big in the UK, because why would you pay for it when it's on BBC or iPlayer? So the research also found that so 66% of the audiences choose streaming, while 23% chose traditional pay TV when they want to watch something that everybody is talking about. Nearly two-thirds of 57 to 70-year-olds agree that streaming represents better value, is more convenient, and has greater variety than pay TV. 
So I just think this is interesting and it's a lesson the BBC need to be learning before the Charter Review of 2027. They need to be pushing to become the UK's big, hot streaming service, I believe. They can add advertising then, they can have product placement, they can sell their streaming service all around the world, not just in the UK. And they will be richer for it and better for it. And then you will have a choice about whether you want to pay it or not without someone knocking on your door, won't you? But I take some of these, you know, these research things with a grain of salt because, you know, you can use numbers to prove anything, can't you? Basically, but I found this one interesting. But just in case you are interested, that what happened here was between the 24th and the 30th of July 2021 on behalf of Roku Inc., NRG surveyed 934 18 to 70 year olds in the UK who watch at least five hours of TV per week via traditional pay TV or a streaming service. So it's not a big number, 934 people, is it? I would have liked to have seen that in the tens of thousands, but then I doubt Roku would pay for that, would they? They've only paid a few quid for this just to get a nice bit of free advertising because it was in the paper, isn't it, with Roku written all over it. That's why they've done it. So what do you think about this? Do you think I'm right where streaming is the future of TV? Or do you think broadcast TV is going to live on, you know, in the future or just past 2027 when the Charter Review happens? Do you think anything will happen to the TV licence then? Ah, it's a toughie, isn't it? Leave your comments below. We'll have a bit of a chat about it. And I will see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.